Get out the band-aids, people, because both Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Reimagined got some updates during the blizzard of 2017, so let's go over them in the Call of Duty News of the Week. First, for Infinite Warfare, the Emblem Editor is finally live four and a half months late after it being accidentally teased about a month ago, and when I mean teased, I mean they accidentally made it live before it was ready. Big surprise there. New features that were added are also 20 new prestige levels, which definitely make a difference for those people that have no life the fuck out of the game so far, considering that I enjoy the game and I'm only just about to the third prestige. These new prestiges will award players with an extra 25% XP from completing challenges, assuming that you haven't done them all already, and using Mach 2 weapons, deatomizer strikes, and extra starting ammo from classic weapons, and some brand new prestige icons and permanent unlocks, thus meaning if you run into one of these people that sweat more than Shaq at the free throw line, they've got an advantage over you if they're using a classic weapon. But, unlike in Black Ops 3 when they released the level cap increase, prestiging actually means you start back at level 1 again with all the shit locked unless you use your permanent unlock on something. Other fixes include having the readiness gun perk work when the weapon is low on ammo instead of the mag empty, which will disappoint zombies players everywhere, shaving the victim of the round ending kill cam by name, and fixing that bug where the rigs were facing the wrong direction in the winner's circle. There is also a new option when going into the quartermaster where you can enter a cipher. The pop up box is filled out in the form of four letters, then two letters, then four letters. I tried cred it card, sup lie drop, come ing soon and give me shit, but none of those worked. The Easter egg hunt is on, but since multiplayer doesn't have nearly the experience that the zombies community does, this may never be answered. Leave your guesses for the cipher down in the comments section below. Also, the previously leaked Blood Anvil mission team now has the artwork in the game. However, it's still unclear as to how to unlock this team, or if it's still in the coming soon black hole. Or if they may have pushed this out too early like a prematurely born baby. Oh, and of course, because Infinity Ward's mantra is two steps forward, one step backwards, they removed hardcore S&D and hardcore domination, due to XP not being granted in those modes for whatever reason, as if anyone plays them anyways. Speaking of game modes, there was some data mining done in the game files with the new update that may point to some of the bonus game modes that are available for a limited time. Some have been in previous games like Safeguard and One in the Chamber. Others were cut game modes from Modern Warfare 2 like Arena, which is basically live fire from Titanfall 2, and VIP like the game mode of the same name in Battlefield Hardline, and there's some more that haven't been in any game. Flux, who the fuck knows what that means? Manhunt, maybe Michael Myers? Payload, which could be like the Overwatch and Team Fortress 2 game mode, AP3X, maybe that's the only score streak that you can get, and Contagion, which sounds a lot like Infected. Personally, I'd love to see War or Momentum come back, but some of those other game modes seem cool as fuck. It's too bad that the competitive guys can't even get an actual ranked playlist. On to Modern Warfare Reimagined update news, as I alluded to in the previous Call of Duty news video, Operation Lion Strike was introduced for new content drops. There are three brand new weapons in the drops, the MAC-10, which I talked about in the previous video, that hopefully won't be as shit as the SMG version in the original Black Ops game, along with a D-25S semi-automatic sniper, which should probably fully replace the Terror Bad Dragonoff or the Barrett Fitty Cal for those that want to snipe but aren't actually good enough to do so, and the PKM LMG, which is basically like the Gorgon reincarnated, have fun playing against camping little cum dumpsters with that thing. There's also three new melee weapons, a samurai sword, and two different types of wrenches, one called mechanic and the other called thug. That's racist, Raven. There's also tons of new things to play dress up with for your character and weapons, along with new BB to bops like calling cards and emblems. How cosmetic. These items are in a separate supply drop section, so if you already spent all the money on your mom's credit card for the Arctic Wolf shit, you could increase your credit limit without worrying you'll get the shit that you've already gotten. In spite of the fact that Activision, spelled with a dollar sign, is throwing microtransaction items into the bonus add on game, splitting content drops like this is actually a pretty good idea so that people can focus on trying what they actually want to get out of the RNG, even though it would just be easier to be able to buy the shit directly, but that's not gambly enough for them. There's also a new limited time event called the Shamrock and Awe, a play on the words Shock and Awe, which was a disaster of an idea from an idiotic president. A trailer was dropped for the event in which they got the least Irish sounding person in the world to do the voiceover. Operation Shamrock and Awe is available from March 14th through April 3rd. For the St. Patrick's Day themed event, aka an excuse for amateurs to go out to bars and make idiots of themselves by drinking way more than their limit. This event runs until April 3rd with exclusive theme timed loot and a brand new skin of the map Downpour called Daybreak where it isn't raining, which is awesome because all the rain maps in Call of Duty suck. Downpour, wet work, underpass, stormfront, and it's decorated just like someone who got too happy at the dollar store. There's a 24-7 playlist where you can go to complete challenges to unlock new camos. There's going to be a free supply drop giveaway weekly by just logging in 
and N, and those supply drops, which are part of a third collection, contain shit that's mostly green and orange. There's two new melee weapons, the Shillelagh Melee Club and the Shamrock Knife, along with a new character bounty where you can unlock Captain Graves as an in-game character who's just some fuck trumpet that they made up in order to fit the theme. Wouldn't people rather play a soap, price, or gas? Anyways, if Raven's idea was to obfuscate the fact that they were putting even more shit in supply drops that don't belong in COD 4, then, like Shock and Awe before it, mission accomplished. So, who's going to be watching MLG Dallas this weekend where E-United is going to try and repeat at a big land, hopefully this time, and they won't act like children in the post-game interview where they shit-talk the Optic fans that were booing them after the Green Wall was dismantled, who also acted like children. It's almost as if this game is meant for kids. I've been the Schwanz 27 out like Eddie Lacey in Green Bay. Until next time.